Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brendan, and today I'm back with a tutorial I did a very long time ago, which is how to change a player's health in Minecraft. Now, the old video is very outdated to the point where it does not even chain command blocks or any of sort in that version, but today I'm here to fix up what I left off, basically. I mean, there's a lot of problems if you try to use the current version of MC with the old commands, you know. Well, I have prepped for this moment, and today I have a command generator I have made. So, yeah, let's let's pull it up. The link will be in the des description below. And uh, yeah, so what you want to do is you want to go to the website, and this basically will generate a command for you depending on how much health you want, like zero means a negative 20 health which base actually negative 20 means no health at all which that means uh, you basically you know won't won't have any health <laughs> well, I have to explain that one too but if you want a half a heart it would be negative 19 and if you want zero which is a default amount of health that means it won't affect health at all so each uh, one point equals a half a heart. So, yeah, let's start out with 20 to be double health. So the command will also have these synthetics right here. So if you want to hide the flags for some unknown reason, you can do so. You you can make it so they can't remove the button, and you can add name name legendary potato. <laughs> I mean. I don't have it so you can change the item itself, but I'm sure it's you can change this right here, so it's not that difficult. <laughs> and anyway, you copy that command, go back into Minecraft, and you want to paste this in a give uh, in a command block. Wow, well, give give what? <laughs> I don't know. And you want to place it in a repeating command block, and what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's always active and unconditional and obviously a repeating command block so when you do that you well should change the game rules so it doesn't auto do anything <laughs> uh false all right anyway now what you have is you have your legendary potato with the hidden flags you can't tell it affects the health yeah, if I go into game mode S now, you will see I have a double the health, which is amazing that works. So, if I change this to 13, and copy this command block again, and put that in uh, this command block right there, you will have it just a tad less because it's 13. It makes sense, right? You should. <laughs> Anyway, um, from there, if you want to affect health backwards, it gets a little bit more complicated. Now, if you go ahead and change it to negative 19, which means a half a heart, so you change it to negative 19, copy the command, and you want to, uh, you want to paste the new command block in. <laughs> and now, if I go into game mode A, you'll see, even though I put a half a heart you have a one heart what you want to do is if it doesn't change at first which it did then which is nice but sometimes if you go ahead and you fall it doesn't you don't take the damage if you know you know you're supposed to take at least a half a heart then it doesn't work well now nah, well but now if I go ahead and get it like this it's yeah, I die, so... Let me show you how to fix that bug. Which, I ran into it a very long time ago, when I first started with the don't take damages. Which is pretty interesting. So, yeah, anyway. So, you got the command. And you want to make a chain always active command block. And, first of all, before you do that, you want to make a scoreboard. So, scoreboard, objectives, add and name it health and then name it health again 
afterwards and health again <laughs> because what this does is this names the it like the name main name health the the type which that gets the current player's health if you put health there and then this is the display name which you truthfully could do without so now that score will be a constant uh constant what you call it a constant chart of our health so if i set that to the sidebar it will show the current player's health once it's affected I'm assuming so if i go game mode a there you go now it's one heart or two hearts see there's the bug right there so how you make the make the the system like the minecraft recognize that you have a half heart is actually pretty simple which i actually make it very complicated here because i'm complicated and that's the way i do it but just follow exactly what i put and you should be fine so what you want to do is you want to start with an execute command so execute at all now you want to put in brackets with no space in between right next to it you want to put score underscore health underscore min equals one and score underscore health equals one so what that does is that it's detecting for actually what you want to do instead wow i messed up there is put score underscore health underscore min equals two so what that does is it's detecting for whether this is either two or greater score so this is basically saying to it hey there's something wrong with this system so that's what you want to do you want to put these three squiggly brackets whatever you call them <laughs> should know what they're called by now but i don't so moving on then you want to put effect at s which that executes towards the selector which is this like the selected person and you want to put in instant underscore health and you want to put in the amount of time which should only be one second and the, the value which again should only be one true so it hides the effects particles and uh, yeah now anytime i go ahead and have any more than one health it should auto fix itself so if i'm in game mode a now if i go ahead and slash kill now let me disable this real quick to show exactly what happens when it's not here so if i go ahead and go game mode a and slash kill you see it says 20 health even though i have this a uh, one heart it's not even remotely close to the uh, negative 19 health that you should have so what you want to do is activate this command block that i just turned off clearly <laughs> And that is a glitch if you activate it midway, so it should auto fix itself when you kill yourself again. So if you do slash kill, see how it automatically set the person's health to one because what it does is that it gives the player the instant health effect, which it gives you know the maximum amount of health. Now, if your maximum amount of health is one, it maxes out your health at 1 rather than 20 so anyway if you put in these two things you should be fine just remember to check the description down below and make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to mine52's maps or my tutorials anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next tutorial or building video depending on Wow, I'm just rambling on, so see you guys next time.